there are two major types of computer graphics, vector and raster. Vector graphics consist of mathematical calculations which create the artwork. Thanks to that, no matter how much you scale the objects up, they will always remain super crisp. Raster graphics consist of pixels and are, well, naturally, most common in designs made with the sole intention of being displayed on screens. In Illustrator, you can simulate what a vector artwork would look like if it was converted into a pixel artwork. You can do it using the rasterize effect, which we will take a look at now. I got this nice little poster here advertising a summer party. Primarily, it would be printed out and hung up around the town, but uh, what if we wanted to share it in its full size on the web and make sure it would look good on high-density monitors like Retina? So let's select the poster and zoom in real close on the main text. Now head over to the Effect menu and choose Rasterize. There are some options here worth discovering before we hit OK, so let's take a look at them now. From the first drop-down list, you can select the color model to use for the rasterization. RGB would be the most obvious choice since we are rasterizing the image to be used on the electronic devices, but you could also use grayscale or bitmap. Notice that even though we're changing the color model, the image itself is not changing. We don't have the preview option either. In order to see the changes, you have to press OK. Now you can just use the appearance panel to adjust the rasterization options. The second drop-down menu, which is the resolution option, is probably the most important one. Here you can determine the number of pixels per inch in the rasterized image. You can select among three presets, 72 ppi, 150 ppi and 300 ppi. You can also use the document's raster effects option that you set when creating a new document. And you can also arbitrarily set a resolution of your choice. Again, you won't see any effect this has on your artwork if you don't press OK. Next set of options lets you choose a type of background, white or transparent. The anti-aliasing options work really great if you want to keep the resolution lower still retain the crisp look of your artwork. If you bring the resolution down even to 72 ppi and add anti-aliasing to it, the artwork will look so much better than without anti-aliasing. Of course, going for a higher resolution plus the anti-aliasing will result in a super crisp image. And by the way, in most cases it won't really matter which anti-aliasing option you'll go for. What's worth to notice though is that these anti-aliasing settings will override any anti-aliasing you may have applied to your fonts. And if you need to create a mask around your object, you can select the last option available. You can also make it bigger than the artwork by a specific amount of points if you wish. This is how you can use the rasterization effect in Illustrator. It's a great way of checking what your artwork would look like if it was to be shared on the web.